New World had four new products, which it will ship during the first half of 1995. The first, Heroes of Might and Magic, is a strategy game in which you play a hero hired by a warlord to expand his territory. It includes a world generator to randomly create its beautiful SVGA maps so you can play it over and over again. Heroes of Might and Magic is slated for March release. Also in a strategy vein is Mechlords The Inner Circle, formerly called Mech Wars, the latest from Simtex, creators of Master of Orion. This game combines elements of Warhammer 40k and FASA's Battletech with isometric tactical combat similar to 94 smash hit XCOM. You play the role of a young noble of one of the ruling houses of an interstellar empire. By successfully completing missions, you rise through the ranks to assume control of your house, then lead your house to victory over opposing houses. And then you must defend your empire against an alien menace. Look for Mechlords in July. CES Crowd saw the announcement of Wetlands, an action-adventure title featuring hand-drawn animated characters layered over 3D rendered settings. The game is set in a future Earth where a mad scientist has caused a 100-year storm which has caused the level of the oceans to rise. You play John Cole, a freelance tracker assigned to locate and retrieve the scientist after someone liberates him from cryogenic imprisonment. Gameplay involves solving puzzles, completing action sequences on foot and in vehicles. Wetlands will be available on CD-ROM only in May. Surprises are in store with Multimedia Celebrity Poker, in which you play one of eight variations of poker against Joe Piscopo, Morgan Fairchild, and Jonathan Frakes. The stars trade quips while attempting to clean you out, and some of the clips are actually very funny. Celebrity Poker should be available in March. Finally, New World had just reached the point where they could announce that they would be publishing a new original first-person RPG developed by Dreamforge, creators of several AD&D licensed RPGs for SSI. Tentatively entitled D3, little information is available at this time save that the game will be released at the end of 1995 and will be set in an all-new, completely original game world. In other developments, work is being done on Might and Magic 6's engine, but the storyline has not yet been completely fleshed out. According to New World's Mike Lustenberger, the series for all three games in the M&M trilogy are being written at one time. Work will pick up speed once developers who are currently involved in Celebrity Poker and Heroes of Might and Magic finish those projects. In a word, don't expect the next installment of the Might and Magic series until early to mid-96.